Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a beachy wave look using a straightener on short hair. <coughs> oh, okay, box. It came with two GHD straighteners. This is the one that it came with. And I will show you everything that it came with. Came in this little basket here with these little cases, which I thought were so cute. And I mean, can you guys see this? Look at this little, look at this little slipper. A little, just turn to the side, buddy. I mean, it was just so cute. It has little slippers on it. Anyways, it came with that GHD straightener. And then another one also, which looks like this. Just a nice blue GHD straightener. But anyway, so I'm thinking about doing a giveaway with the other GHD straightener because Lord knows I don't need, like, I don't need two of those. They're like $200 straighteners. Anyways, side note. Do you guys see this highlight right here? Like, hello highlight. Bring it. Highlight challenge coming soon. So, this GHD strainer, I'm not really sure which one it is. I did turn it off because I wanted to show you guys how fast it heats up. So, I'm just going to turn it on. Makes a pretty little sound here. And it'll make a noise when it's ready. It's now ready. You see what I'm saying? Like. It gets so hot so quick, I love it. So I'm just going to place that there and pull my hair up. I can normally do this in two to three sections, as we all know. I'm gonna be using the Paul Mitchell Seal and Shine. Spritz that all over. <coughs> just choked on the Paul Mitchell Seal and Shine. So I, take, I like to take like bigger sections for this part. And I like to do, um, have like two to three day old hair. I normally only wash my hair once to twice a week. I cannot get over this highlight, guys. So I take my straightener like this, put the hair in it, clamp and twist, and then just pull through. I just twist once. And freaking boom, shaka freaking laka. I'll just go on to the next. So again, clamp in twist, pull through, and we got some curls going on. I like to do this because it's super quick, super easy, and really gives you like a messy look once you play with it. So clamp, twist, and roll. You guys see that nice curl, nice little wave? <clears throat> Sorry, I keep looking at my viewfinder, and I literally have a huge mirror behind my ring light, so I don't know why I'm looking at my viewfinder. Clamp, twist, and roll on through. And we got some nice curls going on. If you want more like defined curls, you can take smaller pieces and do the same thing. So clamp it, twist it, and pull through, and you're gonna get more defined curls. Moving on to the next section, I'm gonna do it in three sections just to so you guys can kind of see more of what I am doing. Is that lighter? <laughs> I mean, it's just pretty much heaven. This friggin' highlighter. And these little GHD clamps, I don't know how much these are. I know the straighteners are anywhere from 175 to 200, but these are so nice. They have like a silicone coating on them and they grab your hair. Like, I have an issue. Because I have such fine hair, when it's clean, I have an issue with the clamps not grabbing. So that stinks. But anyway, so clamp, twist, and pull. And if you see like how it's kind of flat, it didn't really curl. If you kind of twist it the way, the curl will come out. So you can, if that starts to happen, you can take smaller pieces and leave it sit just a little longer as you're pulling through. And if you just kind of bounce it around, it'll naturally take that curls position. So since that one first one didn't really curl that well, I'm just gonna take a few smaller pieces and then... I always get confused looking at mirrors. I don't know which way to twist my curl to make sure that it curls right. And 
and you just want to make sure like you're rolling it as you're going to make sure that you do get that good curl. You know that Becky with the good hair curl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry guys. I I'm sorry. I don't want to make anybody mad, but I legit cannot stand the song Work by Rihanna. Like, I loved it at first, and then everybody overplayed it, and now I cannot stand it, but it gets stuck in my head 24-7. Drives me nuts. Then, as you guys can see, I mean, these curls are just coming out so nice. This is the one I missed. So just keep twisting it as you're pulling through to make sure everything gets nice and curled. Beautiful, Lee. Ready. Clamp, twist, pull. Okay, don't burn, pull. I feel like I'm on an infomercial. You just want to keep twisting to make sure you get that pretty curl. Oh God, don't fall on me, please. I have like mirrors everywhere. And then this is nice too because sometimes I do get tired of using um, a wand because I hate just like even messing with it. This is really hot guys. Don't clamp your finger in it because it hurts. So I just want to do this. And then if you kind of like the top was curled but the bottom wasn't, just start where it wasn't curled and pull back through and you're going to have a nice curl fall out. I'm going to finish curling my hair, doing the same thing, and I will be right back to show you guys what the finished looks like, finished product looks like. Once I get all through my hair, because I do want a messy, beachy type of look, I'm just going to go in and kind of fluff everything, run my fingers through a few strands, especially like towards the front of my face. I always like to have that volume. So I'm just going to go in, fluff it, mess it up a little bit. And then like this piece here, I always have an issue with getting it to curl. Like as you can see, the ends are curled, the middle isn't. So I just like to brush through. I'm going to take it again toward the scalp and just clamp and keep twisting as I'm pulling through to make sure that curl gets in there and see like there it curled a little better that time. I don't know, it's always just that one piece. I cannot get it to curl. So then we're going to turn this off. And now it's gone to sleep. We can get that out of the way. And then I'm going to go through and just kind of spray my hair with my favorite hairspray, which is the Kenra 13 Hold Hairspray. And as I'm spraying, I like to lift up, especially because I do have that stacked bob in the back. So just lift and spray, lift and spray. Keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. And boom! We are done. So simple, so quick. It literally just took me like eight minutes to do this hairstyle. Nice, messy curls. I love it so much. It's so easy. I love this highlighter. All right, guys, so that is how I do my simple beachy waved for short hair, short-ish, shoulder length, whatever type of hair. This is how I do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. <clears throat> If you guys would like to see a giveaway on that blue GHD straightener, please let me know. I will definitely buy a few other things. Maybe I'll buy a couple of these highlighters, some Gilded Honey and some Wet n Wild highlighters to throw in it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to put them. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.